I feel like every month or two months of not playing Session and something clicks in my brain where it's like, oh, Session. I used to really like playing that. Let's let's play Session again. So here we are. We are in the Session metaverse, the Session world. Uh, completely vanilla, no mods, and I just, I had the urge to play it, so we're gonna play it. I'm definitely, definitely a little bit rusty. So we gotta ease back into things. I feel like I've done multiple of these videos where it's, you know, been a month or two of not playing and then I get back into it and I'm like, damn, this is a fun game. <laughs> That's exactly what we're doing today. I, all, I feel like, just like in real skating, I always end up doing that. I always end up doing the same couple of tricks and I feel like it's always in the same spot too because I usually spawn in around the same area so it's like front tail 270. So, so here's the order I usually do it in. We do front tail. Yeah. Oh god, I gotta get a better front tail. There's the front tail, and then tray flip off. Okay, then we do front tail fakie. I'm getting like mad deja vu. I feel like I've, I've intro to session video doing this exact same trick, doing talking about the same thing before. It's like a part of my routine now. I, I have to do it before I can move on and get to the rest of the video, but I can't get a good one for some reason. There it is. Oh, I, I really thought that guy was gonna get in the way. Okay. And then... Oh! Oh, we're switching things up! <laughs> okay. What map have I... I need to break the routine and skate a map that I rarely skate in my session videos. Um, when was the last time I skated... When was the last time I skated the tennis courts? Why does the ground, like, look not textured like just this one little strip i'm on like didn't render or something okay where are we going i'm not uh not a hundred percent sure maybe there's a reason i don't come here i can move stuff around right like maybe we can just oh i can't move that can't move that can't move that okay maybe we just work on our ollies you know maybe <laughs> maybe that's what we need can we kick flip that high yes can we backside flip that high Yes. I'm saying it as if there's not a stats menu. I can literally choose. I can, I can pop as high or as low as I want. That's cool, man. I, I remember when Session added this to 1.0, like the official release, and it was like a big like kind of f you to Skater XL because they hadn't and still haven't added a stats menu. All right. Maybe we can piece together. Maybe we don't have to move the benches. We can still piece together a line of sorts between the two. Uh, yeah, okay. What about Nolly Heal? Nolly healing over something like that would be crazy in real life. Ooh, all right, Nolly Heal. No, that's the, that's too many Nolly Heal flip tricks. Hold on. Honestly, I feel like Nolly Inward Heal is almost more realistic over a, like over an obstacle like that than just straight Nolly Heal. That just looks so uncomfortable. Nolly Inward Heal. What do I do over this? Like maybe, maybe like a front shove or a regular pop shove it. I'm going for like simplicity here. Nolly inward heel. Pop shove it. Tray flip. Nolly flip crook. That's gonna be the line. I just have to do it now. I want to get like no push, like no push after the nolly inward heel. So if we start in this corner, there we go. There we don't go. Boom. There it is. Boom. Boom. Oh, I did not leave up no slide. Popped it up. Ugh, that's for sure not a crooked grind. Also, I probably should go through and adjust my stats because that was sort of an absurdly high. That's like Skater XL vibes, but I feel like I need it for the tennis net over there. I may be rusty, but I shouldn't be that rusty to the point where I can't land this line. They're all simple tricks. Perfect. Why? Dude, am I am I a stupid idiot? I'm a stupid idiot. Did I forget how to tray flip? No. That's all it is. I was doing the wrong input. <laughs> that, that was my bad. Please. Nolly inward heel. Pop shove it. Tray flip. There it is. See, and then the feeling you get of actually rolling away is also, you know, as close to skateboarding as you can get in a video game. Because I feel like relief, like if you skate, you know that feeling of battling something for so long and then finally getting it. 
that's all good let's go let's go to our apartment that graphics what kind of boards do i got here oh do we have everything unlocked i think jl might have given me his save game file a while back so i might have just everything i think i was writing an 8.5 already that's what i'm writing in real life now so we gotta no we're going for realism here what do we got here chicken nuggets lighter what's the padlock for a beer darts dice starbucks burger king a razor what are you using the razor for huh shaving maybe, maybe uh, this was the board i was writing maybe i was writing an eight we gotta graduate to an eight five i'm down for the the dane berman zero board i don't think i'm i don't think i'm core enough to pull off some rails so we're gonna go no on that no risers wait why did my board go back to what it was all right sorry dane looks like we're going with this board now what's going on every single time i select my wheels my board goes back oh maybe it just didn't save or something i don't know all right new board new trucks new wheels how is our grip tape looking eh that's fine I'm down for just like the baggy white tee you know they may not be karyumas but i'll let it slide yeah these are kind of <laughs> i'm gonna wear the fall-in slip-ons and just pretend they're karyuma slip-ons all right let me skate let me go back Ooh, all the handrails are kinked at the end too fully skatable like they're not gnarly kinks this flat bar is kind of crazy this is probably above my pay grade because of how bad i am at 50 50s but i really want a 50 50 that to pop over <laughs> All right, we gotta we gotta change this. We gotta go. Let's go low pop down, high pop down. Yeah, that feels a little bit better. Yeah, okay. Maybe that. I'll blame it on that. I did it! Wow, this game is fun when you do things you mean to. Boom. Kind of a sketchy 50/50, but pop over. All of the, like, the stats menu settings felt right, too. Like, my pop height and all that. That was cool. Can we push my luck, though, and go for front feeble pop out? Might be pushing my luck. Oh, I remember that being a, being a thing. I got into the front feeble, and I feel like I'm popping out right. Like, it sort of just, like, levitates us off there. When, like, I want that, like, satisfaction of popping off the back truck. Uh, yeah, the 50-50 felt way cooler. I did do it, though. I'm proud of myself. And then... This is a spot we rarely skate. This was a spot in the story mode that frustrated the hell out of me. Not very cool, but I think I would do two tricks in real life, and it would be a little... Oh, not that. Excuse me. Coming through. Uh, I mean, yeah, backboard, but I want to get a good one. There we go. Close enough, I landed the trick. So that and just a little tiny crook bonk is probably all I would have in real life. But we're not doing real life. We're playing a video game, in which case, <laughs> let's do that. Kickflip back tail big spin on something that short would be really cool. Ah, hold on, I gotta make some changes here. We gotta go to grind pop height, turn that way down. Going for realism. better but we can almost turn it down more because it's such a high drop off the ledge we can maybe like let's just do that that was scarily realistic damn that was cool but still not what i was trying it should be possible with with zero uh grind pop right or maybe not maybe i need like a little bit of grind pop there it is there it is that is what i wanted because that's how it'd be in real life you wouldn't be like i wonder how many times i've said real life in this video or realistic someone count it and comment it down below because when you do it you wouldn't like pop up you know what i mean if you're doing a kickflip back tail big spin on anything in real life you sort of just like scoop it off the rail Let's try that on like a ledge. We might need to up it a bit for uh, skating a ledge, but I do just want to see. Oh yeah, okay. You can see the vision here, right? I feel like it might actually work. Hmm, maybe we need like one. Hmm, maybe we need two, like that. Yeah, I feel, I feel like that's that's a, a little bit better looking. You get into it. 
Yeah, I would say that that's pretty spot on. You know what I do miss? And I think I'm, I've procrastinated long enough that it might be time to finally make the switch and get back into it is mods, like both in Skater XL and Session. This whole channel originated off of modded Skater XL videos. And over over the years, that's crazy to say, over the years, it's it's like mellowed out to just vanilla Skater XL, vanilla Session, because it's like it was so hard keeping up with all of the mods and a lot of the modding community fizzled out and people are mad at the games, the devs, you know what I mean? I've started playing other games as well. I've gotten deep into racing simulators. Instead of course, the BeamNG, that was ugly. But I do think that I, I'm getting closer to wanting to return to where we started, at least for a couple videos of maybe we download the session mod manager, maybe we download Unity mod manager, get back into modded XL. If I land this nolly hard flip, we'll do it. Oh man, I gotta do it now. <laughs> no, I, I've been thinking about it for a while. I'm probably gonna start with session just because it's so much easier to get into. You just need the session mod manager and that's it. Skater XL is kind of a whole job to get back into everything. But yeah, I think it's, uh, I think we're coming up on that time that we're, we're overdue for it. So, um, thanks for watching. Catch you for the next video. It's probably going to be modded session. So see you then.